fed up with vlogging on a cell phone? Well, you don't have to anymore. The A6400 shoots high quality video and photos and solves all of your life issues. It even fits in your pocket. Buy it. The camera will not fit in your pocket with a lens attached. Hey, what's going on people of YouTube? I'm Steven with Purpose Lens Media, and today we're gonna talk about five reasons why you should buy the Sony A6400. And no, I'm not just saying that because I have one. I'm gonna tell you the reasons why. That doesn't make any sense. This camera came out in 2019, which makes this camera two years old. Now in the world of technology, that can be pretty old, but I'm gonna tell you that this camera is still very capable in 2021. And the first reason why is because of the size. Now we live in a world where things are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, our cell phones are getting thinner. And so are cameras, especially mirrorless cameras. They are tiny cameras that literally can fit in the palm of your hand. And the Sony a6400 is no exception to that rule. This camera is great, especially if you need to carry it with you. Let's say you're going on vacation or you're going on a trip. You literally can just throw it in a bag that you have. And even the lenses that come with it or that are for it are very compact lenses. Even the lens, even this lens here, this is the 18 to 105. You can see that even with this lens on here, it doesn't make this camera really big. So again, the size of this A6400 is great for travel and is great to take around with you when you don't wanna to have to carry around a bunch of heavy, huge gear. The other thing is for some reason, when people see this camera, they're not intimidated. So if you are a vlogger and you wanna take this thing around with you in public, it doesn't stand out because it's not that huge. Now, if you're walking around with a big DSLR camera uh, or something like a C100, everybody's gonna look at you and they're gonna think you're putting on a huge production even when you're just vlogging. So that is a plus for the A6400 and one of the reasons why you should buy it. Now, moving on to part two, or the second reason why you should buy this camera, versatility. What I mean by that is this camera can do both photos and video, and it can do them both very well. If you are into wedding portraits or if you're into headshots, whatever it may be, this camera can definitely handle it. You pair it with the right lens, you can get sharp, crispy, nice photos. Uh, you can also shoot in raw. That is another thing. If, you, if you're into photo shooting raw, just means that you're capturing all of the information off of that sensor, which allows you to be able to do a lot more editing with that photograph. And this tiny camera has that capability. So that is another plus. Then when it comes to video, this camera also has some of the best autofocus that you can find. Not only that, but there's different modes within the autofocus. And when you use this thing, you'll see how great it is. The other thing about the video is it shoots 4K. Now, a lot of different uh, phones and cameras claim 4K, but this is actually 4K. It's 8-bit, so it's not the 10-bit that everybody talks about. But this, trust me, this camera looks really good straight out of the camera, even if you don't really edit it. But that is what makes this thing so good, is the versatility and what you're able to do with it. And in, in that, there's features that you have within uh, the photo area. So like, if you wanna use a manual lens and it doesn't have auto focusing, this camera has something called focus peaking. Now focus peaking, what it does is it puts an outline or a red outline around all the things that are in focus. This is a tremendous help when you're manually focusing a lens because sometimes you can't see on the viewfinder if you have focus, but focus peaking allows you to nail that focus perfectly and you don't have to worry if you got the shot or not. The other thing in video mode is this camera gives you picture profiles, which gives you a greater dynamic range so that when you bring in your video into your editor, you have a lot more that you can do with it, adjusting the colors, adjusting the exposure, and that sort of thing. And this little tiny camera has all of those picture profiles built into them. There are actually 10 different profiles. So this comes in handy if you're into making uh, little films or if you are into color and things like that. This is a really, really good thing to have. Now, moving on to number three, of uh, the reason why this camera is so great. You should get it in 2021 
is the flip up screen. Now, Sony has been known to not include flip up screens or flip out screens on their camera, but this A6400 has a flip up screen. Now, if you're into vlogging, this makes it perfect because you can flip the screen up and you can see yourself. You have all of your controls here. You can see your exposure. You could see uh, what shutter speed you're shooting in. You could check everything you need to check from this screen. And the other good thing about this screen is you can tap to focus just like your cell phone. That is a game changer with this. So if there's something that you want to focus on, you don't have to try and make the camera guess and figure out what it is. You simply tap the screen and the camera will focus on it. Now you can set the different focus modes inside of the camera. We won't get into that right now, but just to let you know, there are a lot of different controls. There are a lot of different features within the focus that uh, you can control. So again, this makes this camera very worth it in 2021. So moving on to part four, I touched on it just a little bit. This is the picture profiles. Folks, this really is a game changer for this camera. The picture profiles, uh, there are 10 different ones, including HLG, which is hybrid log gamma. And basically all of these profiles allow you a wider range uh, of uh, detail. So it could be exposure, uh, it's, it's going to be colors and things like that. And if, if you're into S-Log2, S-Log3, this camera has that and it allows you to have a lot more latitude, a lot more range when you're editing. And this makes a huge, huge, huge difference if you're going to be shooting things like small commercials or talking heads or anything that is going to uh, make it so you have to match other cameras. This makes it a lot easier to do that because you have a lot more control over what you're shooting because you have these picture profiles. Now, number five, which is the last one, is the cost. So all of these things that we talked about, uh, this camera right now is $899, which is $900. Now, although that may sound like a lot of money, if you have been searching for a camera, you're gonna find that most cameras are going to be above $1,000. This one is below $1,000. It's the body only. But even still, it's only even though it's only the body, you're getting a lot in this camera. So you could spend an extra two, three hundred bucks and come out maybe eleven, twelve hundred bucks with a fully functional camera that you can vlog with, that you can shoot wedding videos with, you can shoot portraits with, you can shoot headshots with, you could do all types of photography and videography with this camera, and you will have great, great, great results because of how high quality this camera is. So I can't stress to you enough how good all of that is in a package that doesn't cost a lot. So again, folks, I'm gonna wrap it up here. There are many more reasons that we could talk about, but those are just the five reasons why the Sony A6400 is good in 2021. Now, if this video is helpful to you, feel free to like it, share, subscribe, because I'm gonna have a lot more material on this specific camera, we're gonna go over lenses and we're gonna go over some of the features and some of the actual shoots that you can do with this camera. So thank you to everybody who's been tuning in. Uh, I'm trying to get this YouTube off the ground and my aim and my goal here is to help you guys because I was once where you were. So I want to clear out the weeds, make it as clear and concise as can be. So thank you all for watching and I'll holla at y'all later. I'm out, peace.